30 seconds to the opening. Welcome to Pray 16. For the next hour, you are invited to stand with other believers as we pray and release the power of God into the lives of his people. Remember, if you're not praying church, you're just playing church. Coming to the studio in five, four, three, two, one. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Welcome, welcome, welcome here to Pray 16 Live on WTJR. We are so glad that you are here um, with us to worship God, to pray, to talk, to be encouraged. Amen. In the things of the Lord. I am Pastor Tim Red, uh, the pastor of Second Baptist Church of Fort Madison, Iowa. I am uh, filling in uh, for Pastor Gary Wallace. And uh, I today have the general manager of WTJR with me, Sister uh, Donette Douglas. Amen. So we get Give God, God praise for you. you. Amen. God Thank you so much for Amen. allowing me to be here. Uh, people of God, that's what, what we come to do is, is to pray. Uh, we're going to encourage you. And we want to we want to let you know that God is up to something good. Amen. God is up to something good. And I don't care what's going on in your life. Um, the Bible says the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man or woman availeth much. Amen. And so when we begin to pray, things begin to change. Amen. Amen. When we begin Amen. to pray, mountains begin to move. When right. we begin to pray, sickness has to has to leave the body. Right. When we begin to pray, prosperity comes in our lives and our minds and our finances and our health. Come on somebody in our yes. in our family. Yes. And so I want to let you know that that's the reason why we are doing this is to make sure that we are plugged in to the things of God, that letting God do what he wants to do in our lives. Hallelujah. Uh, there Amen. are times when we want God to do something and there's a time when God says, but I need you to do something. Amen. Amen. And so <laughs> when, when we pray, we are really trying to get the mind of Christ. The Bible says, let yes. this mind be in yes. you, which was also in Christ Jesus. And I cannot tell you that one of the ways that we get that mind in us is by prayer. Uh, what, what I've uh, been doing in the last uh, couple of weeks is really not just in my prayer time, doing more listening than I am talking. Uh -huh. Amen. Uh -huh. Doing more listening than I am talking. And can I tell you that when I'm listening, I become more grateful for life. I become oh. more grateful to God. And I begin to, when he's talking to me, I'm, I'm realizing all the good things that he's done for me. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I just begin to uh, ha have tears falling down my face because I'm listening to the Holy Ghost and I'm Amen. listening to the peace Amen. of God, the love of God. Amen. And so that's what we are here to do. So I pray that you are encouraged today. I pray that you will um, not only uh, uh, allow us to pray, but that you'll be praying too. And, that, and I'm going to get to that in a few minutes because it, it's good to have prayer partners, but it's also good and a wonderful thing to be able to pray for yourself. Come on, somebody. Amen. You got you to learn how to pray Amen. for yourself. You, you know, uh, the Bible talks about um, standing in the gap for people. And, and the reason why we, and when we stand in the gap for people, intercessory prayer is to pray as if I'm in their position. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. I, I, I need to pray uh, for somebody who has cancer as if I got it. Come on, right. somebody. Right. I need to pray for somebody that's going through divorce as if I'm going through it. I need to pray for somebody whose child is strung out as if it's my yes. own child. Yes. I need to pray for somebody, glory be to God, that has just lost, uh, lost their job and now it's Christmas time. Amen. I need to pray as if it's me. And so I want, I want you to begin to pray for somebody as if it's you going yes. through the same That's situation. Right. Glory That's be to right. God. And so you know what it's like to, to go through hell. You know what it's like to go through struggles. You know what it's like to be uh, swamped by the enemy and he's hitting you from every angle. Come on somebody. And so that type of prayer that you pray when you're desperate to God, God, I don't know what I'm going to do without you. God, I don't know. If you don't move, I don't know what's going to happen. That's how we need to be praying for each other. And so today on Pray Live 16, come on somebody. Yeah. That's what 
what we're going to be doing. We're going to be praying for one another as if we are all in the same boat. Here it is, praying to the same Heavenly Father. Amen. And we know that what God has done for us, He can do for you. So get ready, get ready, get ready. Hallelujah. For God to do something in your life, for God to do something in your family, in your ministry. Hallelujah. As we begin to lift all these things up to prayer. Amen. Amen. At this time, we're going to have uh, Sister Dominette uh, speak. And, and I know there's some things <laughs> on your heart that you want to share with the people of God. Amen. I'll tell you, I'm so thankful to God that we started this program over five years ago. Amen. And you know what? Think about prayer. <laughs> I mean, some people take it so lightly. Right. But number one, when Jesus arose from the dead, mm -hmm. it said that God rent that veil. Yes, ma'am. From the top to the bottom. So God opened up a way for us to be reconciled back to him. So when we are praying, mm -hmm. we're entering into, wow. now get it, uh -huh. we're entering uh -huh. into yes, the throne room yes, of the most high, holy God, yes, God. our heavenly father. Yes, yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Powerful. We may be seated here physically. But spiritually. Yeah, spiritually. Yes, We're God. in that throne room. Amen. And also, think about it. Jesus is seated mm -hmm. at his right hand. And yes. what is he doing? Interceding. He's interceding. Amen. Okay. And what else? If we know not how to pray. Mm, he's praying for us. The Holy Spirit. Yes. Is there with groanings. Yes, God. So deep. Wow. Because he knows yes, the God. mind of God. Yes. And he knows that perfect prayer. Hallelujah. So think about that. Yes. Little old me. Right. Little old country girl, Don Ed, high yes. school education. Of course, I can't say it that much longer. But anyway. <laughs> Amen. I'm sitting here. Right. But I'm in the throne room yes, of God, God when I pray. Yes, God. Powerful. And I've got Jesus Christ, the Son of God. And I've got Jesus. the Holy Spirit. Yes, God. The Spirit of God. Amen. Praying with me. Yes, ma'am. That's how powerful prayer mm, is. Mm, mm. We got to realize how powerful prayer is. Yes. And we've lifted up so many prayers and you've been a part of Pray 16. I'm so excited about Thank that God. too. Praise God. Because too. boy, you've, God has given you some words God is to share. God is Because we need to teach people about prayer. Yes, ma'am. When God laid this on my heart, that was part of the reason. We have to teach. Yes people help them to realize the importance of prayer mm -hmm. because Jesus himself said my house mm -hmm. so we call now that may be the house of worship right or it may be this individual house right here got you good that's good it's to be a house of prayer yes ma'am yes ma'am that's good and we I, have I, to be. I never thought about it like that because this this is the temple of God right and so this is, you know, as I said it before, uh, Bishop Warren says that the Jew prays three times, the uh -huh. Muslim prays five times, but the true worshiper prays all the time. That's right. And so we, if we are the temple of God, we ought to always be in prayer, which is communication yes. with God. Amen. Amen. Yes, ma'am. And so if someone comes to your mind during the day, stop. Wow. Wow. Stop. Yes. And pray for them. Yes. And sometimes I've went to talk to someone and I call them by the wrong name. Right. It comes out. And then I've realized I need to stop and pray for that person yes. because there's something going on. Right. You know, that a prayer needs to be lifted up. Absolutely. And, you know, our prayers never die. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. They're out there forever. They never die. Mm. That's good. Think about that. That's good. And uh, even though you've prayed once, maybe you've prayed twice, I've had many testimonies of people praying for their children. Mm -hmm. It may be 17 years. Mm. It may be two months. But you keep praying yes. because you're standing in that gap. Amen. Amen. Before God. Yes, God. Crying out yes. for their souls. Amen. It's so important. I want you to realize how important prayer is. Yes, God. And he answers prayers. Oh, he answers prayer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ooh, he's answered so many for me. Yeah. I can't even begin to oh. tell you. And he answers them in such marvelous ways. Yes. Absolutely. Such marvelous ways. Absolutely. Above and beyond anything I could think or even come up with myself. Amen. 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 Because he knows the perfect answer. Right. Everything well, he does is perfect. We know that this country needs prayer. Oh, my. Amen. We know this country yes. needs prayer. And so I know there's some things on your heart that you want to share with yes. the people of God. You want to yes. do that now? I want to encourage you. This next Tuesday, November the 8th, is Election Day. 
you need to go out and vote. And you say that I am only one vote. My vote doesn't really matter. Yes, it does. Absolutely. You know, if everybody says that, there's a mm. hundred million people. Come Who on. knows how exactly. many people exactly. uh, that aren't voting. Right. But if they all say, my vote is important. Mm -hmm. And you know, that is a right mm -hmm. that we mm -hmm. have been given. Right. And God even tells us, you know, number one, we need to pray. Mm -hmm. And we need to pray for those in authority. Right. Right. Yes, we need to be in unity. Well, how are we going to be in unity unless we come together in one accord yeah. and pray, yeah. vote, yeah. walk it out. You have to walk your exactly. faith out. Exactly. And so we really need to vote. Yes. I would suggest you pray before you go vote. Ask God to show you. Maybe there are different places you can go to find out about the different candidates and what's on mm -hmm. the ballot. But you need to vote. Right. And when you pray and ask God to help you, okay, he will help you vote for those that he wants Amen. Amen. to be in the authority. Exactly. And we're not telling you what, no. which way to uh, vote, whether that's no. uh, Republican or Democratic right? or, or what, whatever it is. But you have the responsibility to yeah. vote. Amen. And, and I can look at myself as an African-American man. Yeah. Uh, and so many of my ancestors died for us to right. have this right. And then yeah. looking at you as a woman, yeah. so many women sacrificed yes. so many things. And so now that we're in a position to, that, to, to do that, we have the power. Right. Go ahead and vote. Amen. Amen. You know, uh, it's, you're not going to be able to complain if you don't no. vote. <laughs> Amen. I mean, there's no way that you're no. going to complain. And so I, I think that what you said was so, so very uh, uh, significant and powerful that we need to be, we have to pray first. Yes. Pray first and let God lead you and guide you and direct you in all truth. And sometimes uh, where God is going to lead you may not be where you have been. Right. It may, he may be leading you somewhere else right. and, and, and say, this is my will for, for this nation. And so I'm asking you to don't, don't be uh, influenced by anything but the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Do your research. Find out who you feel uh, is, the, is the best candidate um, to serve the people. Amen. Amen. And, and then let God begin to minister to you, uh, yes. amen, on, on who to go ahead and vote for. Amen. amen. So on amen. that note, we are going to, listen, we're going to go into a worship video with Pastor Danny Sluckerberry. Uh, I think I said that That's correct. Right. All right. Also, and he, he is uh, singing a song called I Love You, Lord. Lord. Amen. Let's go amen. check that out. Amen. Jesus, I need to know true love. And the love found on earth to take me into the king's chambers and cause my love to be true. than the love found on earth so take me into the king's chamber oh and cause cause my love too much let me know of your mouth let me feel your embrace let me smell the fragrance of your touch let me see your lovely face and take me away with you even so lord come and i love My flesh, they yearn for you. To love. 
love you, Lord, is all I can do. And you have become my soul passion. Let me see your lovely face and take me away with you. And even so, Lord, come. Oh, I love you, Lord. I love you more than life. flesh oh they yearn for you jesus more and more to love you lord is all i can do you have become my soul passion Pastor Danny and that song, I Love You, Lord, More Than Life. Oh. Amen. Praise God. Mm -hmm. um, we want to share with you guys that uh, there's somebody that's close to the WTJR family that has passed away, uh, Sister Penny, who works in the background. She's such a, a great woman of God. It's her brother. And um, today we're, we're going to lift that family up in prayer. Sister mm -hmm. Donette's going to lead us in that. I want to read a scripture from 2 Corinthians 1, 1 starting at verse uh, 3. Blessed be God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and the God of all comfort, who comforted us in all our tribulations or troubles, that mm -hmm. we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble by the comfort wherewith we ourselves are comforted 
of God. Mm -hmm. For as the sufferings of Christ abound in us, so our consolation also aboundeth by Christ. And whether we be afflicted, it is for your consolation and salvation, which is effectual in the enduring of the same sufferings which we also suffer. For whether we be comforted, it is for your consolation and salvation. Mm -hmm. I want to lift up the family of Eileen Kreider, uh, Penny Wilson, her daughter, uh, works in master control here, and Jim Wilson, of course, <clears throat> Penny's husband is our engineer here. And Stephen uh, was a volunteer here, had a big part of WTJR for many, many years. And he has gone to be with the Lord. And we want to pray for this family. But I also want to encourage you today because uh, Penny just came in and told us he was an organ donor. Mm -hmm. And already someone has been helped with their eyes. Praise God. Someone with breast cancer has been helped. Amen. And someone in a burn unit has Amen. been helped Praise by his dona Praise donation God. from his body. So we want to lift this family up Amen. that God would comfort them. God, we come before you today knowing you are the God of all comfort. Yes, God. Because your word says so. Thank you, Jesus. And we believe your word to be true. I just ask you, God, to wrap your arms of love around this family. They would feel your presence. They will know they are not alone. Mm -hmm. That you would bring your comfort and your peace. That you would bring strength to them and guidance in the days to come. Oh, God, may they always know that you are there with them. You have not forsaken them. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And that, God, we're already seeing. Yes, God. Where Stephen's legacy is continuing. Yes, God. Thank through the you, help Lord. he has given these individual people. Yes, God. With some of their health issues. Thank you, Father. We thank you, and thank may you. you be glorified through this. Yes, God. And may we see souls. Yes, Father. Come to the kingdom. Yes, God. And we ask it in Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank Praise you, God. Lord. Thank Hallelujah. you, Lord. God Thank is you, Lord. Faithful. God He's is faithful. faithful. While we're faithful. while we're um in that in that vein, let's go get to some praise reports. Uh, this is from Beth, and she says that her surgery surgery went well. She's at home recovering, and uh, she's asking for continued prayers for for full recovery and strength. So we, we just thank God that um, God brought you through the surgery, amen. We thank you that you, you um, sent prayer requests and that we prayed for you and that God brought you out and that you are going to be strengthened. So we give God glory and praise and honor for that, amen. Amen, Hallelujah. thank you, Lord. Uh, she's, yes. she, Annabelle, she, uh, again, she went through surgery successfully. She's going to be going through a rehab tomorrow. And she says, thank you so much for your prayers from the, uh, Pray 16. Amen. So we thank God yes, for thank Annabelle. You, Lord. Amen. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Faithful, faithful um, God. Sheila asked for um, ransom, uh, had a baby, surgery on the feet and ankles to correct club feet, and the surgery was successful. Oh, Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory. We've been he's praying a, a long time for that God. little baby. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank so you, So he's Lord. in a cast on both feet, legs, and up to his waist. Um, uh, he's not a happy camper. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> he sees the doctor in three weeks. Well, we give God glory yes, and praise. Lord. Amen. Yes, thank you, and, Lord. and you know what? We, we praise God for yes. the doctors. Amen. Yes. That God has... I uh, bless you all with uh -huh. to make this thing successful. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. the Lord. Hallelujah. Well, I want I want to share with you before we get into the prayer request, uh, uh, very quickly. The Bible talks about Second Kings Hezekiah who prays, and God hears his prayer. Amen. What happens is the prophet says you're going to die. Hezekiah says, "Let me pray <coughs> to God." He prays to God and beseeches God for himself. And prayer is overturned and prayer overturns God's decision. And I want to that's why I said earlier, it's very important that we know how to pray for ourselves. 
ain't nobody going to pray for you like you. <laughs> Amen. Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody going to pray for you mm -hmm. like you. And so it's, it's found in 2 Kings chapter 21 through 6. And you go ahead and read that. Um, but the Bible talks about that the prophet says you are going to die. Uh, he says he says that set your house in order and you're going to die and not live. And this is uh, 2 Kings chapter 20 verse 2. It says that Hezekiah turned his face to the wall and began to pray unto the Lord and said, I beseech you, Lord, remember now that I have walk before you in truth and with a perfect heart. He reminds God of what he did and said, God bless me. Amen. For being a servant unto you. And that's what we can do when we have served God. The Bible says that God is a rewarder to them that diligently seek him. And if that's the case, then God is also a rewarder to them that fervently serve him. Glory be to yes, God. Yes. If God is going to reward those that seek him, God will also reward them that serving him. And so I want to tell you that as, as you are praying, you, you don't necessarily have to remind God, but let God know, God, I've been faithful. Come on, somebody. There, there's been things that's going on in my life, but God, I've been yes, faithful. Uh, I, I'm, I'm a dealing with this attack, but God, I've been faithful. Glory be to God. Yes. And Hezekiah says, God, I, I'm not ready to die. I'm, I'm not ready to uh, deal with this sickness. I'm not ready to deal with this disease. God, I need you to touch me. I need you to make a way. God, I, I don't want to see my child uh, suffer like this. I need you to make a way. And then he says, God, do you remember all the souls that I've been I've been winning? Do you know how many times I've been preaching and how many times, I, how many songs I've written and how many people that I've led to, 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 the, to you. God, I need you to remember what I've done. Come on, somebody. And so I'm asking you, can you yes, say to Lord. God, remember me? Remember what I've done? Because if God is going to reward the seeker, God is also going to reward the, the server. Glory be to God. And I want somebody to get ready for your reward. I need somebody to get ready for your blessing that you have been storing up. Hallelujah. Some good blessings for a time such as this. That, that what you have been doing, can I tell somebody today yes, that it is Lord. not in vain. Come on, somebody. I, I want to let somebody know today that what you have been doing, God is going to remember you and God is going to pay you back in full. That God is going to restore your health because you laid your hands on the sick and they recovered. God is going to restore your finances because you preach that God wants to prosper his people. God is going to restore your relationship because you were the one that was counseling. God is going to make a way out of no way because you were a miracle worker for somebody that needed a miracle. And I come to let somebody know and proclaim uh, over your life that the Holy Ghost is in this place to let you know as Hezekiah turned to the wall. What he did was he turned away from the prophet. I know what you're saying. I know that you say that it's from God, but let me talk to God for myself. Come on, somebody. Let me pray to God for myself. God, I hear what you said. I know that you have this demanded that I'm getting ready to die and there's a sickness. Watch this. There's a sickness that's on Hezekiah and the sickness is unto death. Glory be to God. But he says, God, I need you to do something. I need you to move on my behalf. And so he, he begins to talk to him and he watches. He brings up his faithfulness to God and God says, I will allow you to live. Watch this. He goes on and, and, and uh, he goes on in verse five. He turns again. The prophet does and says, Hezekiah, the captain of the people, he says, God has heard your query. <laughs> God has heard your request. God has heard your prayer. God has heard your cry. Watch this. The, the prophet walked away and had to come back. Go shot on the ball. Go shot. What are you saying, Pastor Tim? I'm saying that the doctor will walk away, but he's going to have to come back. Come on, somebody. Ah, oh, glory be to God. I know that the debt is there, but cancellation is coming. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. The sickness is there, but it's going to have to flee. Glory be to God. He walked away as if what he said was final. Watch this. Do you remember Abraham uh, talks to God and he says, yes, God, if you Lord. find 45 in Sodom and Gomorrah, will you spare the land? He said, I'll spare the land for 45. Yes. What, what if you, what if 40? I'll spare the land for 40. I want to tell somebody, keep on, keep on negotiating with God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes, keep Lord. on negotiating with God. God, please. God, please. God, please. God is not intimidated with your negotiation. Yes, Come on, somebody. God wants yes. to save your land. God wants to heal your body. God wants to heal the, uh, the relationship. God wants to restore your finances. God wants to restore your mind. Come on. And what yes. we have to do here it is, is have communication with God. Hallelujah. Yes. That is what prayer is. Prayer is having communication with God. And I love this because God's decision was overturned because of prayer. Yes. I want to ask somebody today, glory be to God, I feel like preaching this day. Are you ready for God to overturn some decisions?
decisions just because yes. you prayed yes. right? Yes. Are you ready for God to overturn some decisions that he made? Glory be to God. Yes, just because you prayed right. Watch this. If God is able to overturn his yes, own Lord. decisions, how much more is he able to overturn the devils? <laughs> God. I said, do you hear what I'm saying? Yeah. If God is able to overturn his own decisions because of your prayer, how much more will he overturn the devil's decisions because of your prayer? I want to let Amen. somebody know that things are getting ready to change because your prayer, that things are getting ready to shift because of your prayer, that God eyes have not seen and ears have not heard, neither has it entered into the heart of man what God yes. has prepared for them that love him. Get ready, get ready for God yes. to shift some things, to make things, hallelujah, come back in order. And I want to let you know, listen, he says in verse 5, I'm going to, watch this, I'm not only going to let you live, but I'm going to heal you. <laughs> what are you saying, Pastor Tim? He said, I'm not going to just let you live, I'm going to allow you to enjoy your life. Amen. Come on, somebody. God said, I came to give you life and give it to you more abundantly. Yes, the enemy Lord. comes to kill, steal, and destroy, but I came to give you more life. I came to give you more life than you can live in a lifetime. I came, watch this, to heal you. Are you ready to be healed? Are you ready to be set free? Are you ready to be delivered? God does not only want to give you extended life, but he wants to extend that life with joy. He wants to extend that life with peace. Call more somebody. He wants to extend that life with, with love. Hallelujah. And so God is saying, not only am I going to allow you to live, but I'm going to allow you to live without discomfort. <laughs> I'm going to allow you to live. Watch this, people of God, without the disease. Come on, somebody. I'm yes. going to allow you to live. Come on. Can you? Can I yes. need you to? I need you to use your faith right here. I'm going to yes. allow you to live without the diabetes. Y'all better talk yes. to me today. Come on. I, I'm going to take the cancer away. Y'all better help me. I'm going to bring your child out of prison. Y'all better talk to me today. I'm going to allow you to live without discomfort and disease. I'm going to. I'm going to listen to your prayer. Here it is, and heal your land. <laughs> <laughs> if my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves, seek my face, turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and I will heal their land. I came Amen. to tell somebody today, I came, I came to encourage you today, glory be to God, that you are about to have your life Hallelujah. extended. Y'all not saying nothing to me. That, yes. Oh, go shot. Da -da -bo -go -shot. I don't know who this prophetic word is for, but somebody is in here and you've been praying, God, extend my life. Come on, somebody. And I want to say you got the extension cord. <laughs> he's giving you the extension cord. God yes, is going Lord. to extend your life. Watch this. And he's going to heal your life. Are you ready Hallelujah. for it? Are you ready for it? Wherever you are, I need you to go ahead and worship the Lord right there. I need you to praise yes, God and Lord. magnify his name because he has heard your prayer. I'm so grateful to God <clears throat> that, that it's not done until God says so. Hallelujah. It's not finished until God says so. God has the final say. The prophet said, you're about to die. And Hezekiah Amen. said, I know God. I've served God. Hallelujah. I, I watch this. Watch this. Watch this. I can't finish. I can't be done until my assignment is finished. <laughs> Woo! Come on, somebody. I, so, no, no, no. I can't be done until my assignment is finished. My children need me. Y'all not saying nothing. My ministry needs me. My business needs me. My community needs me. I can't, I can't be done until my assignment is finished. And God is saying that's the reason why I'm going to let you stay on the earth. Watch this. I'm going to allow you to finish the assignment because he goes on and says, I'm going to bless you and I'm going to bless your land and I'm going to bring you out from the bondage of King of, of, of Assyria. I'm going, to, I'm going to fight for you. Here it is for my name's sake. <laughs> and I want to tell somebody, get ready to be delivered so that God will be glorified. Come on, let's give God Praise Amen. in this Amen. place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory Amen. be to God. I pray Amen. that you believe it. Amen. God is going to add unto your days. <laughs> Hallelujah. God Hallelujah. is going to add unto your days. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, so Jesus. let's get right into it. Let's pray for Cora. Uh, she's been um, waking up in the middle of the night, uh, screaming, scared. Uh, it could be an attack of the devil. Amen. And uh, she's. Yeah. She will be, she's only one years old. So let's pray. Lord Father, I thank you for Cora. I thank you, God, for this, this baby. I thank you, Lord Father, that right now you will cause your angels to protect her. I thank you, Lord Father, that you, that you will protect her mind. Lord Father, that she will have sweet dreams and be able to uh, sleep, Lord Father, with peace mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus. Yes, peace, Lord. Lord Father. I thank you, Lord Father, that you are going to be her hedge of protection the same way that you were for Job. 
And Lord God, I thank you that as the enemy is trying to come, Lord Father, and affect her mind, affect her body, he cannot get in. Hallelujah. Yes, he hits a wall every time. I lift her up in the name of Jesus Christ, the, might, the matchless name, the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I thank you for the Holy One. And I thank you that we have, that we have the power of prayer Amen. and to speak these things which be not as though they already exist. In the name Amen. of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 Well, I have my Facebook on. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I've got my cell phone right, Facebook right. because I have shared this. Okay. And people awesome. are responding. Praise the Lord. First of all, uh, if you would repeat the scripture. So because. Second Kings yeah, chapter they, 20. Second Kings. Yes. Chapter 20. Chapter 20. And it begins in verse 1. You can just go ahead and read it through. Read the whole chapter. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I will get that out here. Amen. Then a lady Text me, please pray for me today. I got a negative report from the specialist yesterday, okay. believing for a total healing in Absolutely. the name of Jesus. Absolutely. And then you started your message. God is faithful. <laughs> <laughs> you started your message Glory. and she said, I, yes, I receive restoration Hallelujah. in my body in the name of Jesus. Yes, God. Amen, amen, Hallelujah. amen. So Lord, yes. Glory. We bind that negative yes, report. Yes, God. Hallelujah. And we loose the yes. good report. Thank you, Jesus. That by the stripes of Jesus, Woo. Christine is healed. Yes, by God. By the stripes of Jesus. Yes, God. And she will go forth now. Hallelujah. Thanking you for this good Thank report. You. Yes, Thank God. you, God, for Thank the good you, report. Father. Thank you, God, for your yes, healing. Yes, Thank yes. you for Thank your you. restoration. Thank you. Yes, Lord, I will complete my Shandoro course. Gusata. And I will yes, complete God. it with joy. Hallelujah. And in good health. Yes, and Father. I thank you, Lord, in Shana Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. <laughs> He's faithful. He's Hallelujah. faithful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God. Then I've got, um, uh, this was called in uh, last week. Uh, we had Revive America here live. Yes, and people called in with prayer. Karen called in for her husband, Carl. He was needing healing. He was having some severe nosebleeds. And he would go from being cold to hot and having feelings that things were unreal. So God, we want to just continue to pray. We prayed that evening, but I want to pray again also for Carl. Any health issues in his body, any infirmities trying to take over, mm. we say in the name of Jesus, yes, God. be healed. Be healed. Be healed. The Amen. top of your head, the soles of your feet. Yes, Father. No more nosebleeds. Whatever is causing them is healed. Mm -hmm. God, that his uh, temperature in his body will stay normal. He won't be yes, extra cold or extra hot. Yes, God. And God, that those feelings that makes him seem unreal would be gone. Yes. Because they're false. They're lies. Hallelujah. They come from the enemy. Yes, God. You come to bring us faith. Yes, God. A sound mind. Thank you, Jesus. Power Gosh, and God. love. Thank you. Holy so Christ. I ask that Carl will walk forth. Yes, God. And these things will be quite evident yes. as a witness yes. for you in his life. Yes, In Father. Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Hallelujah. God. Yes, Glory I'll get that on in 2 Kings chapter 20. <laughs> and then Wendy, uh, she watched Rive <coughs> Revive America. She said, Evangelist Newton's message was for me. Praise the Lord. I hear that repeatedly with amen. television. Amen. Even if it's live uh -huh. or sometime a repeat. Uh -huh. That message was for me. Amen. They'll call and say, that message touched me. Yes. His message had countless words for me. It was a confirmation to her of a custom fit. Wow. And sometimes those words may not mean anything to you. Right. But boy, to me, they Absolutely. hit me right in the That's heart. Right. And they're a word I can stand on. Yes. When God gives you a word, mm. and I'm sure you'll back me mm -hmm. up, you can stand on it. Mm -hmm. God will change his mind. Right. You stand on that word. That's right. You walk it out. Yes, God. And you stand on it in faith. Amen. It'll, you'll see it come to have pass yes, yes, if you God. stand on it. That's right. That's right. You'll see it come to pass. Every time. Hallelujah. Every time. Hallelujah. So praise Lord for that. Yes. Golden and her husband asked for prayers for direction for their lives. Uh, this came in on Facebook. Yes. And uh, God, and you want to address that? Yeah, I, yes, I got go this ahead. Right here. Yeah, and go I, ahead. I, and God, as I was reading it, God, I believe God was ministering to me about this. And uh, I just want to share with you, I want to encourage you uh, as you're praying, be very specific uh, in what you are believing God for. Yeah. 
And uh, and I know with me, I I'm, I do ministry, but I also have a full time job. And and people ask me, are you full time? And I'm just like, I, kinda. Because and the reason why I say that is because my job is ministry. You know, mm -hmm. I, I'm a, I'm a youth counselor. I counsel, I, and that's what that's what I do. That's what a preacher is supposed to do. And so I, I I'm still in that vein. And so even though it's a secular job, you know, quote unquote secular job, it's still ministry. And so uh, if that's not your desire, be very specific to God, and then really begin to ask yourself, uh, in, in is what I'm asking for really in the will of God. And what I mean is the, the lane, because we all, you, you all know Ephesians chapter 4, 11. Uh, he gave some apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers for mm -hmm. the edifying of the body of Christ. And so my, my question to you is, um, are you sure uh, that what you're doing is really what he wants you to do? Um, so it could be full-time ministry, but in which capacity? Amen. Yeah. And so Amen. I'm asking you um, to really begin to seek God. Uh, Lord God, is this the exact capacity yeah. that you're asking? Is this the exact ministry that you're asking me to uh, be in full time ministry? And so I believe that you have the desire of God to be in full time ministry. Now, the question is, which ministry should yes. I be in full time of? Yes. So, Father God, I thank you for clarity. I yes, thank you, Lord. Lord God, for Golda and her husband, Lord Father. I thank you for their desire to be uh, in full time ministry, to, to preach and yes, teach the Lord. word of God. God, to see souls say lives change, minds yes, renewed. Lord. I thank you, Lord Father, that they have a heart for you. Lord God, the Bible says that a wise man, a wise woman winneth souls. Hallelujah. Yes, so I thank you, Lord Father, for their power to convert souls. Hallelujah. And bringing yes. them into the kingdom. Now, Lord God, I pray in the name of Jesus that you will cause the desires of their hearts to be fulfilled. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless Amen. you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And I was looking down here, this, for some reason, God drew me away to this one. Okay. And I'm going to pray for it right now. Yes, Leslie, worried about her finances. Well, my word to you is pray more Amen. and worry less. Amen. Are you listening to me? Pray more, worry less. Amen. Worry has never gotten anything good for anybody, but uh, more hopelessness. Uh, and uh, that's not good. It'll pull mm. you down. Mm -hmm. But you get into praying with God and spending time with God, and you're going to get some answers. Amen. Your attitude will change. Praise because God. when you spend time with the Lord, woo, yes, God. Yes, God. Things change in your life. Praise the Lord. And I don't mean just a one minute prayer. Right, I mean, right. you get away in that secret place, mm -hmm. you turn that TV off, you get away from that phone. Get into a place where it's just you and God mm -hmm. and pray more. Yes, God. And then you will automatically start worrying less. Amen. So God, today, I just lift up Leslie. Yes, God. God, I know there are many people worried and troubled about many things, anxious. But help them yes. to build their faith. Yes. By spending more time with you, more time in prayer, Seeking you for the answer. Hallelujah. Seeking your presence, yes, not what you give us, the blessings or your handouts, Come on. but seeking your presence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And as they do, they will find they're naturally not going to worry Thank so you, much. Thank you, Jesus. Bless you. That you will answer those prayers. You'll show Leslie what needs to be done. Yes, God. Maybe a better steward with the finances you do give her. Yeah. Uh, you will bless her, God, with finances that are needed. Yes, God. God, we believe that. Thank you, Holy Ghost. And I just ask that all in Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I'm going to pray for Donna, who had a, a, a bad accident falling, hit her head and uh, hurt her ankle. Mm. Had to be taken to the hospital. So, Father God, we lift yes, up Donna. Lord. Lord God, I ask that you will just uh, take care of her, Lord Father. Uh, heal her. Uh, quickly, Lord Father, expedite the whole process, Lord Father. I thank you, Lord Jesus, for the doctors. I thank you, Lord Father, that she's able to uh, to, to still walk, Lord Father. I thank yes, you, Lord, Lord Father, that she'll still have strength in, in uh, all of her uh, 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 ligaments, Lord Father, all of her um, being, Lord Father, that nothing is going to affect her yes, long down, down the road, Lord Father. So I thank you that you are keeping her uh, protected. And, and healing her in the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Amen, amen, amen. amen. Well, <laughs> we have an 18-month-old child that has RSV, very ill with a bad cough. And I know a lot of people are having this respiratory um, 
illness that's going around now. I want to pray for George, our camera operator here, uh, that's uh, home today with this respiratory infection. I want to lift up Dex. And anyone else out there, God, <clears throat> that because the enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy. Mm -hmm. And if our body is sick, it gets weak. Mm -hmm. And Jesus said, I come that you'd have life and have it more abundant. And we know that by the stripes of Jesus, we are healed. Mm. So I speak healing yes. over those bodies, over George, over Dex, anyone else that might be listening mm -hmm. that is dealing with this respiratory or asthma. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people out there with a lot of asthma mm -hmm. problems. Mm -hmm. Oh God, that you would touch their bodies and heal yes, them. And it would be gone from their body and they won't deal with it anymore. Yes. And I ask it in Jesus' name. Jesus. Name. Amen, 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 and amen. amen. Um, one more prayer, and then we're going to go into uh, a salvation prayer. Uh, this is for Cheyenne and husband. It says she was pregnant with twins. They could detect no heartbeats. They need much prayers, peace, oh, and comfort. God. So, Father God, we, we lift uh, Cheyenne and her husband up, Lord God, and ask that you will comfort them, Lord Father. Uh, Lord Father, this is uh, an extremely... Yeah. Uh, difficult situation. Uh, Lord Father, oh, God. I, I thank you, Lord God, that, that you will be able to heal their hearts. I pray, Lord Father, and intercede because I've been there. And so I thank you, Lord Father, that the way that you healed my wife's heart, mm -hmm. you will heal their heart. And the way that yes, you healed Lord. my heart, you'll heal their heart. So God, I, I'm so sensitive with this prayer. And Lord Father, I ask you, Lord God, that you will, uh, you will bless them. Lord Father, that what the enemy meant for evil, you are yes. able to turn it around for good. I pray, yes, Lord, Lord God, that, that you will give them the power and the desire to yes, try Lord. again. And Lord Father, that they will be blessed yes. with a miracle. Hallelujah. Yes, thank that you, That God. miracle will be lifted up unto you, Lord Father, and then yes. serve you all the days of their lives. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. We praise you and magnify your name. Amen. Yes. And amen. amen. Hallelujah. Praise amen. the Lord. Thank you, but at Lord. this time, people of God, Thank we're you, going Lord. to go on to a YouTube video and um, just watch this. Let's close our eyes. I'm going to pray this prayer either to get saved, come back to God, or make sure of your salvation. And I want to encourage you if you need to respond to this, that you would pray this prayer, meaning every word, praying it from deep within your heart. Just pray this out after me, phrase by phrase, quietly, just in your heart. Pray this after me now. Lord Jesus Christ, I need you in my life. You are the true living God. I bow my knee before you. Lord, please forgive me for my sins and things I have done wrong. I'm sorry. But thank you for the blood of Jesus shed for me. I receive your blood applied to my heart. I receive your cleansing. I receive your righteousness. Now I open my heart and I say, Jesus Christ, come into my heart. Come into my life. Be my Lord. Be my Savior. And I choose to live for you, God. No longer for myself. But I choose to live for you. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. the Lord. Thank you, Lord. That, that's what it's all about. Amen. That's right. That's, <laughs> that's right. What it's all Hallelujah. About. Giving Hallelujah. your life to, to God. So many times we are praying and, um, you know, and, and God doesn't, the truth of the matter is sometimes God does not hear our prayers uh, when, when we're unbelievers. You know, again, we talked about it, uh, mm -hmm. Second Chronicles 7, 14, uh, turn from your wicked ways. And so that's the first thing that we need to yes. do. Amen. If, you, if, you're, if you're watching this today, you're in a place where you have backslidden or you don't, mm -hmm. you've never met God, you don't know God, and you're, you're asking, man, wh why isn't things happening? Now, listen. Uh, the Bible says that God reigns on the just as well as the unjust. So right. he, he's good to all of us. Amen. And, mm -hmm. and, uh, and God judges all of us as well. 
Um, but there is a place that you can be at in God when you are a believer, that you begin yes. to see the mighty hand of God on your life. Now, that does not mean that we are exempt of troubles. We have trials and right. tribulations. The Bible says that we that we have all types of afflictions, but God delivers us out of all of them. Mm -hmm. So there is no affliction that's going to overcome us. Amen. We overcome every affliction. And so when you begin to walk after God, once you give God your heart, there is a joy that comes with life. Amen. The Bible says that the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but it is uh, righteousness, uh, peace and joy. Amen. So once I have righteousness, then there's peace and I get joy out of life. And so even though there may be problems, you have the joy of the Lord and the joy of the Lord is your strength. And so I encourage you to give your life to God and begin to see as you walk in the will of God that his hand is protecting you, that he begins to cause red seas to part. Amen. He begins to cause mountains to come down. Amen. Amen. Why? Because you're in his will and God is going to make sure that things are going in your favor so that he can get the glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. And so I want to encourage you with that word. Give your life to God. Give your life to God and God will give his life to you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Listen, we're going to get back into the prayer request. Um, uh, Althea is asking that we stand with her in prayer to find a home to purchase uh, that's affordable, uh, low payments, uh, also for uh, affordable Internet. Amen. Yeah. Oh, God, we all need that. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, Father God, I, I praise yes, God for Lord. Althea. And I thank you, Lord God, that she's uh, putting her faith out there, stretching her faith out there. And I ask that you will give her the desires of her heart. Give her the perfect home in the name of Jesus that she needs. Give her something that she needs, Lord Father, um, and, and that, that will not go, cause her to go backwards. But that she's able financially, not go backwards, Lord God, but she's able to pay all the bills on time, Lord God. I thank you that you will do this in the name of Jesus as we agree. Amen and amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, here I am again on my Facebook. All right. But um, someone that we prayed for last week, because they were going to have surgery, and they'd had this similar surgery before, and they'd had complications. But praise God, they just texted me and said, thanks for prayers for surgery went well. Amen. It made a difference. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank Hallelujah. you. Praise and they, they request prayer for Jaden, who is experiencing some extreme domestic relationship issues. Mm -hmm. Jesus said that we are to love one another. Mm -hmm. And there's so much division, so much hatred, mm. so much offense, and things that are dividing people. And I just say, Jaden, draw close to God. I went through a time myself mm -hmm. when I had a lot of enemies feel like they were beating me down, beating me up. Mm. And I got in the Word of God, and I would sometimes walk and read the Psalms out loud. And that way I was hearing the Word yeah. besides speaking the right, Word. Right, Faith coming by hearing. That's right. Amen. That's right. Yes. And God took me through. Praise the Lord. And He has built my faith. He's given me a strength to stand on God's word. Yes, God. But it was not easy, but it was possible. Amen. So you stand on the scripture. All things are possible with God. I lift up Jaden mm -hmm. and this situation with these uh, relationships. Mm -hmm. God, somehow, get the person's attention that they could have an attitude of their heart change. Mm -hmm. That first of all, that comes from a relationship with you, Lord. So we know this person that is causing these issues is very unhappy. Evidently, there's things going on in their life that they need help with too, Lord. Mm -hmm. So I pray that you send people along that will minister to that person. Yes. But I pray that Jaden will draw close to you. Yes, Get in the word. Get in the word and let you love. Love on her and strengthen her, God, and help her to know how to walk this out mm -hmm. with you and be an overcomer. Yes, God. Protect her, Lord, in Jesus' name. Jesus' name. 
Amen. 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 Amen and Lord. amen. Thank you, Lord. So, Thank you, Lord. Uh, I'm going to pray for Mike, who's uh, praying for uh, his leg. He's having weaknesses in that. Also, that America's churches will be get serious about the things of Jesus Christ. Oh, Amen. Wow. So, Father God, we thank yes. you for Mike. And thank you for strengthening his legs, Lord Father. Uh, whatever is going on, you know it better than the doctors, better than him. So we ask yes, that you Lord. will touch and heal. And then we come and agree, Lord Father, with Brother, Mark, Brother Mike, I'm sorry, Brother Mike, that the churches in America, Lord Father, let us become more serious about the gospel of Jesus Christ. And that can only come when we have a revelation of who you are. Yes, Lord. And we have a revelation that that uh, that one day judgment will come. That yes, one Lord. day people will die and yes, they Lord. will go to hell and, or heaven. And let us get serious about this. Not not serious about making money. Hallelujah. Yes, but Lord. Making disciples. Lord Father, not 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 serious about how big my my church is just so I can say I have a big church. But Father, how many souls That's right. are being changed? Yes, Lord. Father, let us be serious about seeing lives being transformed. Yes, Lord. About teaching the word of God, no matter yes, who it offends. God, being able to see people get filled with the Holy Ghost and, and operating under the gifts of the Spirit. Lord Father, seeing communities yes, transformed and changed because of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Yes. Lord Father, let us take our job and our assignment serious. Yes, Let us Lord. teach the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Lord Father, let us take these yes, 66 Lord. books, hallelujah, and preach it to the lost and, and, and yes, see Lord. them saved, sanctified, and filled with yes, the Holy God. Ghost. Let us take these 66 yes, books and edify the body of Christ. Let us see our nation change. Let us see the love of Christ, hallelujah, back in this place. And we ask you, Lord Father, it starts with the leaders. And Lord God, allow us, Lord Father, to lead correctly and yes, properly Lord. in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Amen, 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 amen. And amen. Hallelujah. Uh, Karen needs prayer for her knee and her shoulder um, <clears throat> to be healed. And I just pray, God, your healing touch upon Karen. She will reach out. She will receive that healing. Uh, she will claim the word of God that yes. says, by the stripes of Jesus, we were healed. Yes, God. That she will stand on that. Thank you, Jesus. God, and just to continue to draw close to you. Yes, Father. And thank you thank for touching you. her body in Jesus' in name. In Jesus' name. Amen. I'm going to lift up Amen. Jeremy, who's Amen. having intense pain in his hips. The doctor has put him on medications. Father God, we thank you for Jeremy, Lord Father. We thank you that he uh, has the faith to call in and, and, and agree uh, as we agree with him, Lord Father, that uh, the medications will work, Lord Father. And if it's your will, uh, you'll get him in a place where he does not need medication. Lord Father, I thank you, Lord God, that you are going to give take this pain uh, completely away. I thank you, Lord Father, the same way that you spoke to Hezekiah, I will heal you, that that same word is relevant for Jeremy, God, that you're going to say, I will heal you, that I'm not going to just allow you to live, but I'm going to allow you to enjoy life. So we do, we ask that in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And I close with this. Um, Karen and her husband are pastoring two small churches. They're very tired and they need refreshing. Mm. And I think we see that a lot mm -hmm. around us today. Absolutely. People growing weary. Absolutely. Don't give up on God. Amen. He's never give up on you. All right. Get yourself into a Bible preaching church. Get yourself into the Word of God every day. Find that secret place where you can pray without ceasing. Spend time with the Lord. And He will take you through this. He will take you through. I have found in the valleys is where the flowers grow. Mm, amen. <laughs> Not on the mountaintops. So if you'll trust the Lord, He'll take you through and He'll strengthen you. So I lift up Karen and her husband and anyone else out there that's growing weary. Don't give up. Amen. Don't give up. Wait on the Lord. Be still and know that He is God. Yes, Father. Trust His Word. Stand in faith. Spend time with Him. And He will take you through with His Son, Jesus Christ, there with you. You will be an overcomer.
Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, Sister Donna, Hallelujah. thank you so much for having oh, me again. God it's bless good you. We love you. you. Love you. God bless. Thank you all for being with us on today. Uh, we'll be back next Friday with Pastor Gary, and we pray that you will be blessed and expect a miracle this year yeah. or this this week. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. God today, bless you. Love you. Right today. Now. Amen. Yeah, right now. <laughs> In the next hour. <laughs> God bless Praise you. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus.